in order to freeze guard the machine, there's a sequence of procedures that you need to go through because what you're trying to do is circulate antifreeze throughout all the lines and hoses and fittings within the, the truck mount and in all your tools. The first thing we want you to do is make sure your machine is off. The, this is critical because you're trying to get a two gallon quantity, 50-50 mix of antifreeze inside your water box. With the truck mount on, that means you have some water in the water box. How much? We're not sure. We're not sure what to tell you. So go ahead and shut the machine down and drain all your water using the, the water box drain at the front of the machine. Once the water box is empty, go ahead and close the port and fill your water box with a two gallon mix of 50-50 antifreeze. Once you have that in, you can go ahead and connect your antifreeze hose. It's a recirculating hose. What it does, it allows you to connect the water inlet to your solution outlet. So, connect there, connect there, and by doing that you're recirculating all the coolant back into the system that is trying to come out. Go ahead and start your truck mount, set to idle, make sure your pump clutch is off, start the truck mount. After about a minute or two, you can set it to medium speed, turn your pump on, and this will start circulating the fluid. One of the things you'll need to ensure is that you do both circuits. So make sure your heat selector is set to hot. This allows the cooler to go through all the heat exchangers. If it's set to warm or the middle setting, it will only go through one, of, one or the other of the heat exchangers. Setting it to hot goes through all the heat exchangers. We'd also like you to go ahead and switch your pressure selector from carpet cleaning mode to pressure washing mode. So run it in both modes for about three to five minutes. That will allow it to go through, again, all the circuits. Um, there, you'll notice there are two manifolds, one for the high pressure, one for the low pressure. Going through both circuits is essential to not having the machine fail when, it, when water gets frozen. You're trying not to have any water that gets frozen. Once you've done that, switch back to carpet cleaning mode. Keep it on hot. To fill your lines with antifreeze, you can go ahead and take the recirculating connector off. You'd want to switch your pump off before doing this. Pump off, disconnect your recirculating line, and connect your solution line to one of the, the out outputs, one of the quick, fit quick disconnect fittings. We recommend you use the furthest fitting for both the recirculating and for your solution. If you look at the manifold, the way the fluid comes in to get it to circulate all the way through, using the furthest one from the side will give you the best mix of going through the entire distribution block. Once you have the solution line connected, you'll want to get a bucket and run your tool into that bucket to reclaim the antifreeze. Spray for about two to three minutes or until you see antifreeze coming into the bucket. That tells you all the water that you put into the, the tool and into your lines and the shutdown procedures is now into the bucket. So spray until you see antifreeze. That tells you the tool is full. If you're using a high pressure tool, you want to do the same. So you'll disconnect and reconnect. Make sure your pump is on when you're doing this, otherwise you'll have no pressure in the lines, of course. Clear. For the low pressure, you'll make, need to make sure that your pressure setting is below 1200 PSI. If you go above 1200 PSI, there's an automatic shutoff switch in the manifold that will cut the circuit from coming through here so you won't get any fluid through your lines. So make sure your pressure is below 1200 when going through these three. And for your high pressure tool, you'll want to put the pressure up a little bit and that allows you to go through the upper circuit. And again, you'll want to flip your pressure selector to make sure that it goes through both circuits. We recommend you reclaim the antifreeze before you clean the next, before you go on to the next job and start cleaning carpets. Reclaim all your antifreeze and you may want to store it because you can reuse it. We've estimated at about three times before it becomes too diluted to be, to be used to freeze guard the machine. Also, you don't want to put antifreeze into storm drains or basically follow your EPA regulations when trying to reclaim the antifreeze. Some people will try and spray it just to get it out of the machine and run fresh water through. You'll want to catch it and reuse it. One, it saves you cost. And two, it keeps you on the legal side of things. You don't want to mess with the EPA. 
once you've completed the freeze guard, you can shut your machine down, make sure you set your idle back to, make sure you set your throttle back to idle, and you shut your pump off before doing so, then shut your machine down. And once you've done that, the machine is freeze guarded and you should be good for the winters.